All right, guys, uh, I'm not sure I showed the before on the top side, but this is basically what it looked like. You can see it's got all this uh, loose rust scale and crap all over it. Um, I'm gonna try to show the needle scaler, but the air compressor I have hooked up to this guy's just a little pancake job. Uh, my two big air compressors, I don't have electric run to them yet. Um, so I didn't feel like running a giant extension cord from inside the house. Um, this is working okay with the needle scaler. I could just only run it for like a minute at a clip, but in between I'm using the hammer and the screwdriver, and then uh, I'm gonna go get a wire wheel at some point. Um, thing that's worrying me about this axle is there are definite grooves in it um, from where the U-bolts used to lie. Uh, not sure yet what I'm gonna do with that. I might try to weld up the pockets like this one here kind of fill it with weld and then taper it back down but hopefully I uh, can still use this rear I'm gonna clean it up like I said clean up the rust and I'm gonna pull the uh, differential cover off take a look at All right, we're gonna call that done for now, guys. Uh, moving right along. I'm gonna take off the end caps here and uh, pull the axles out. And I'm gonna see about getting the drums off. Um, these drums are shot. This one, uh, yeah, this one's cracked. Um, this one, I believe, on the bottom's cracked, but anyway, they're pretty frozen on there. I might end up having to uh, hit them with a sledgehammer to crack them some more. But hopefully I can get them off and uh, Definitely got some good weight reduction here, guys. That's all the rust that came off the pumpkin. Uh, so, should definitely help with the gas mileage. All right, guys. So, hopefully you can see me down here. Um, my impact couldn't even budge uh, these bolts here. 
it's a three quarter socket just going to put a big um <clears throat> ratchet on here and going nice and easy All right, guys, so this is the clip. Uh, I guess you call it a C clip. I don't know, it doesn't really look like a C or an A. Uh, it's got one side bent in like that. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have this style. Uh, this diff has the ribs on it, so I'm assuming it's a later model one. Uh, but anyway, I've heard horror stories about getting these out. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Just have this cheap junk Chinese um, snap ring pliers. I got the little tits on the end there underneath the part that goes down just popped it up i held a rag there so i didn't lose it and <laughs> idiot tip of the day do not leave your oil catch basin underneath while you do it please do not ask how i know this um move it out of the way put a rag underneath uh i actually held the rag right on it um just so this didn't come flying out but didn't really have much pressure to it, and it stayed almost perfectly straight. Didn't really have to bend it much. I'm gonna try to show you on the other side if I could set up the camera. Um, I just took this, got it underneath the little bent down part, and then kept going like that around until the whole thing just popped off. It's pretty easy. All right, we're on the other side here, guys. Try to do this one-handed. Um, you could see the little piece of the snap ring is down in there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just get that edge under like that kind of get it out in front and then just go around in a circle literally it's that easy guys so I definitely hope that helps someone because I was intimidated by this job uh, just from reading on the forums but it seems to be way easier than I thought sort of like life huh guys all right who the hell am I kidding life is actually way harder than this job. All right, guys, so I have the little half round uh, indents on this one. Um, they obviously sell a tool for it. I just wasn't sure what I was gonna need um, for the socket. I found sort of like three different ones online, but now I know at least I have the three half circles. Uh, looks like some of them just have square pegs. Guys seem to grind them a little bit. Um, I had another idea just to try to get it off now without damaging anything. Looks in really great shape. Um, I don't think anyone's been in here before, which I love. Um, I have this piece of pencil rod here, and it seems to be a really nice fit in the half circles. So my idea is just to cut two of these to a certain length, like maybe one inch or something like that. Uh, weld a piece of strap steel across, and then possibly weld a socket in the middle and kind of try to make my own tool. Um, I'm not sure when I retorque these, I have to check the torque specs. Uh, I might have to buy the tool um, just to retorque everything back together, but I have a little time on that. I'm gonna see if I could just whip up this tool real quick now and at least get them off without damaging them. Um, I did slightly tap it with a punch and it's not really moving, but I'm gonna try to just not damage anything, like I said. All right, trying to hold these with one hand here, guys. You can see what's going on so far. It's not rocket science. I'm just gonna weld some across the middle and then find an old socket to weld to it. This is what I came up with. Like I said earlier, I just found a piece of rebar laying around. Um, stick it in there. I left them a little long for now. Uh, you could always, you know, cut the peg down as you need it. And you can see you got a little distorted from the welding. It's not quite a right angle, but easy to bend. Just, you know, tap it a little at a time. That's gonna go in there. And then I marked this side as close as I could get it. And then I'm just going to weld the other one on the other side. done guys doesn't have to be uh pretty or anything like that um 
One thing I want to mention to you guys is, and I wish I would have showed this in the beginning, but you obviously want to get this as straight as you can, but it's not like super critical. Um, what you want to do is when you're setting the bolt or whatever you're trying to weld to get it as straight as possible, lean it a little bit to one direction and then put the tack on the opposite side that it's leaning to start. And what that does is no matter what, um, the bolt is going to move. Any metal you weld is always going to pull in one direction, right? Um, so what you're doing is you're just giving it a little bit of lean. When you weld it, it's going to move and probably pull back a little bit, whatever. Um, but now that you have it tacked good on the back side, now you take a hammer and you just tap it in the opposite direction, bringing it back to straight. And then when you put the tack on the other side, now it'll stay dead straight in that direction. Then you mess with it in the other two directions, doing the same thing as best you can. All right, I got it in there pretty good, guys. And I'm going to try my little guy here first. Um, I don't know why I'm not expecting this to be that tight. Oh, hey, look at that, guys. This is I was about to give up. I had the big uh, bar ready here. Uh, she came loose, loose, loose. Sheesh. I'll show you guys. Um, you can see the little Woodruff key in there, the locking key. Um, looks like it's torqued to that key. Uh, so, actually, no, this one looks like it's actually in the opposite direction. All right, either way, I'm gonna give this a tap uh, with a punch just to try to straighten that out. And then I pulled the key out with a magnet. Uh, it seemed to work on the other side. I just figured I'd show you that. One thing that disturbed me on the other side was I had no locking ring at all on that side, guys. Um, I'm not an expert on these axles, but I thought they all got the locking ring. So I'm definitely going to order that before I put these back together. Hopefully you can see now it's pretty much straight in there. And hopefully the magnet can just pull it out like that. So I cannot get the adjustment to uh, turn at all. Um, everything's just rusted so solid on this one, guys. Um, I might have said earlier, I have new backing plates and drums. They're not exactly for this 14 bolt. Um, a little bit shorter. They have the same size shoe, um, but it's like these drums are like an inch deeper. So my plan is clean all this crap up, see what I have left, and then... Uh, space the backing plate mounts outboard that one inch or whatever i need i'll come up with some idea but for now um you can see this is all cracked anyway but i'm gonna take my grinder and just see if i could cut out like a little section where the adjustment star is um maybe i could do something to that to loosen things but i could also take a peek inside and see what i'm doing guys <laughs> we're gonna pull this off and see what we got hey 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 all right so basically what i was trying to do was push out the locking arm and spin this star right here but as you can see that thing didn't have a chance of spinning um and judging by the rest of what I see in there looks like it's going to be a lot of uh, cutting and hammering to get this apart. All right, guys, so I was able to fit the grinder in there and I actually just cut the adjustment bolt in half. I banged it in with a hammer. I gave it a couple shots and she's coming off, guys. Boy, was I wrong on this one. But man, I've never been so happy to be wrong in my life. Well, you can see where I cut the adjustment bolt in half now that we're inside. And believe it or not, we had a lot of meat left on the shoes. But as you can see, everything in here just rusted to pieces. Um, 
It's almost like this differential was uh, parked underwater for about 100 years. Anyway, you can see the drum. We got nothing left in there. Um, the walls of the drum were very thin, so they might have just changed the shoes at one point in time. And then, uh, you know, put the drums back, put the old drums back, maybe cut them. I don't really know. Uh, but anyway, another bad thing in here is we actually have one broken bolt um, holding the backing plate on. But that's not going to cause a problem for me if I could get the other ones off. Because uh, I'm pretty much recreating all of that anyway. So, that's what we're working with here, guys. I'm going to try to do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll go from there.